Can we learn things from other sports? Are there things they do in other sports that we could bring over into pickleball and have our pickleball game be better? I think yes. As I work with students, I will reference other sports and things athletes do in those other sports that we could employ in pickleball. Obviously, tennis is a big one, but I will also make references to softball or baseball, references to golf, references to marksmanship, like shooting with firearms or shooting archery, and other sports. I just know that there are things that athletes do in these other sports that if we would employ that same mentality and those same skills in pickleball, our games would be better. This week I ran across a video from Gino Ariema. Gino is the longtime head coach for the University of Connecticut Yukon Huskies ladies basketball team. I think they've won 11 national championships, so he knows what he's talking about. In his video, and I'll put a link to that video in the description box below, he talks about how it's hard for him to watch high school basketball players play today. He says they're really talented, they're very good, and they're doing things that they weren't doing 10 or 15 or 20 years ago. So why is that hard for him to watch? If the American kids are so good, why is it hard for Gino to watch him play? He couches it like this. The American kids will play six or seven games on the weekend and maybe drill one day during the week. They're talented, they're very flashy. The flip side of that is the Europeans do it completely different. They will practice six days a week and maybe play one game during the week. And so when the European kids come over to go to college and play here in the U.S., their fundamentals are much better. So they can dribble better, handle the ball better, pass better, shoot better. And so that's the big difference is they focus much more on the fundamentals and drilling more and playing less where the American kids are more about, I want to go play. I really don't want to drill as much. That means at Gino's level, a very accomplished collegiate coach, he's noticing the difference between people who drill a lot, who practice a lot, and play less versus those who play more and practice less. What does that mean for us in pickleball? Probably means we need to figure out what our ratio is of how much time on the court are we drilling versus how much time are we playing. And is that a good average for us? Now, I understand that we all have different goals. Some people just want to come and play and hit balls and have fun and have it be a social event. No problem there. If that is your goal, then keep doing that however you're doing that. If your goal is to get better and better and better, then maybe take a hard look at what is your ratio between playing versus drilling. I'm not proposing that you have six hours of drilling for every hour that you play, but just saying that the really good people, at least in the basketball world, that Gino was looking at, he's seeing a difference between the people, the Europeans, who drill much more than they play versus the Americans who play much more than they drill. If you truly want to get better, you need to go practice.